out at 10, herbicides are manufactured to help farmers get the highest yields from their crops. But now some central Illinois farmers say it's doing the opposite in their fields. WCI3's Will Simmons has that story. Soligradia is an Urbana farm using organic production methods to bring locally grown produce to people in the area. But this year, farm manager John Williams says they haven't produced as much as they expected. I think for me, you know, it, it, it's trying to figure out the the logistics of figuring out what happened and what, you know, how we might need to pivot. After the start of July, Williams noticed leaves on plants like peppers were looking a little off. So he told his director, Tracy Barkley. Started talking to other growers and other organizations, um, officials, you know, folks from the university, uh, and really gathering our information to see What's happening? They figured out herbicide residue was drifting onto their fields, and it wasn't just affecting leaves. Williams and Barkley say plants weren't producing as much fruit. We're talking about likely an event where um, a product was applied, um, you know, quarter mile away or half mile away. Soligradia has more than a dozen acres surrounded by a neighborhood. Barkley says herbicides can turn from liquid to gas and drift from anywhere. There are two main chemicals uh, in this kind of plant growth regulator that have this issue, uh, 2,4-D and, and dicamba. Williams is growing trees around the farm to try and mitigate the spread. They've also reached out to the Department of Agriculture. Besides that, there's not much they can do to guard against a mist they can't see. When you talk about especially crop producers, you know, we don't even have crop insurance that applies to us right now. So we're, we're hit pretty hard by things like this, and it's not just us. It's orchards and other growers as well. In Urbana, Will Simmons, WCIA3, your local news leader. About 10% of Soligradia's produce goes to charitable organizations. They say this year they anticipate losing $10,000 on their prepper crop alone.